so excited. Let's hit the first bite on camera. Here we go. beautiful people my name is savannah but i'm here in an egg up by savvy c and welcome or welcome back to savvy c scoop I am in the Grand Palace, and my oh my, it's a grand. Fun fact for you, which I learned on the little train right here, from, where was I before, oh my goodness, Milan, Milano, that Brussels is home to the EU Parliament, cute, so kind of like capital of Europe, capital of the EU, so I'm here for three nights, I got in last night, but oof, I was tired because I came from Milan. Went all the way through like Switzerland and Germany to get here, so you guys are a little tired. But today I'm gonna sightsee, take you guys along with me, and explore what Brussels has to offer. Museum in Belgium and look it is quite nice I would say it kind of gives me like Guggenheim vibes again of like if you're not big into art you don't stop and read stuff then maybe not worth it but for me I paid your three euros I'm under 26 but if you're above 26 not your vibe just from the outside but it's nice nonetheless learned a lot interesting to see the influence of like France such influence and like some German and just seeing how all that comes to. I've been slacking lately on the vlogging. My apologies for that. It's been, as you can probably still hear, my sinus infection got bad and just busy catching up on work and stuff. So I didn't have time to do like vlogging, vlogging, proper vlogging. But for the lack of that, I'll post like reels, or not reels, YouTube shorts. Shorts, sorry, 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 YouTube, sorry, Google, love you, Ely, Ely. I'll post shorts to make up for the lack of proper vlogging. But yeah, just make it to Bruges. This is my room. For the next two nights, it's gonna be cool. And it's not like gonna be raining basically like the whole time I'm here, but we'll make it do what it's all we're gonna make it work. And that's all right. Yeah. It was a nice one hour, 11 minute train ride from Brussels, and now we're here. Okay, so I'm at Toulé, T O U L E, with the accent Igu, Igu. And I just got a little we'll drink to treat myself. I haven't had a proper meal in a while. I've been doing little snacks and groceries. Yeah. I'm very excited though. The food coming out looks 
fresh. We're good to go. It's only a two minute walk from the hostel, so we're really excited about that. So we take it back. Be another year ago. Got the goods. Got the goods. Now heading back to that house. It's not pitch black, but it's quite dark out here. So I'll do a better showing of the street. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Tomorrow. But yeah, just gonna go back, eat this yummy food, plan how I'm gonna get to Rotterdam, which is my next city. Do some Cambly and it go to be And we're back. Cheers, cheers. Ding. So I got some tea. I'm drinking Fanta Orange, but I got some tea from a homie at the restaurant. I should have got his name. And he was telling me that there's a beef between Northern Belgians and Southern Belgians. So Northern Bel Belgians are like, we speak Dutch, we hear if you locked in, you know, switch it up with the Netherlands versus the South. Like, oh no, je vais français, vive le France. And so they like have like some beef. And then Brussels is kind of like the Switzerland, if you will, very neutral, very international city. But it was giving very like Paris energy of international city, but they'll speak to you in French first type thing. So that was very interesting and insightful. And when I walk around tomorrow, I don't know, I will look at Dutch. So he's going to do a little practice tonight. But when I walk on tomorrow, I'm going to observe and see the cultural differences. So I'm about to eat this big old black bowl inside of my head. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> so I've showered, eaten. And now I'm playing up tomorrow. So I love Shout Google Maps. A fun part that I've learned while planning trips, loosely, I just like look around a city based off the hostel I'm staying at. They have these certain features. Let me see if I can find one for you guys in real time. Do you see that little camera? There is like a tourist attraction. So like a lot of people go there to take pictures, you know. Since you not be doing concerts, that's my job. I am particularly fond and thankful of those places, especially because they're free, which is great. We love free. So, yeah, so I just do that. I really go. It's nice, too, because it kind of takes away expectations, which can really sour an experience. So it's just like, I know what I know, generally speaking, what I've heard. I arrive at the city. I get to the hostel, meet the manager, meet the receptionist, tell them about my job if they don't know already. Then I just go to Google Maps put in the hostel destination to see what's around and then go from there and it's been really cool just to experience and like immerse myself in a city no judgments no expectations so yeah tomorrow's gonna be all about sightseeing so thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye Good morning. That was me speaking Dutch. That was me in the comments. <sighs> Just got dressed, ready for the day. Today is all about sightseeing. It's my first and only full full day in Bruges. Maybe not. We'll see about my transportation to Rotterdam, but full day for now. So I'm gonna go see ten. That's five, but imagine it's one, two, ten things. Ten things for free. Hey, three nine nine. We love sightseeing. Just walk around. It's not raining. Thank the Lord. So, so I hopefully this is the case. That happened in Brussels as well. Like it would say like ninety percent chance, eighty percent chance. When this, then you go outside, it'd be like fine. So hopefully that stays the case for today. But yeah, so we're gonna go explore what Bruges has to offer. Anita, that was French. Ugh, I don't know any Dutch. I don't know a single Dutch word. Let me learn some before I go to Rotterdam. Let me do that. It's closed now, but this is where I had dinner last night and it was really good. Ted, head back in. Made it to stop number one. 
you see how tall it is? I stand it. This is the Basilica of Holy Blood. Amen. And I don't know that much about it yet. I should have done the walking tour, but I didn't have time. That's the only downside with walking tours. They're at least like two, three hours. You see how there's so many walking tours here, all those yellow umbrellas. Walking tours, walking tours. And it's just like, when I'm on a time schedule, it's just like I gotta like get see the stuff, pop in, pop out. So I only have time to be sitting, talking, blah, 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 asking questions. Like, gotta, you know, time is money, people gotta go. But very, very cool. I'm gonna do my own research on it and see the significance, but it is quite significant on the outside, might I add. This is exactly what I pictured Belgium to be like. The canals, the bricks, the houses, architecture, everything. Oh, how lovely. I'm walking to Grutent, Grutent, something like that now. But thought I'd share a thought as I get there, as I'm on my way there. There is something to be said about small cities. I would apologize in advance to, or apologize now, for my retrospective thoughts of like, oh, not like rolling my eyes, even though I just did, but looking not down on them, not judging per se, but feeling like, oh, it's not for me. But I see the perks. I don't see there's downsides where it's like, you're not well connected to stuff and, but um, just seeing you know just the beauty and just things being a 20 minute not drive but walk or less and just being accessible especially in Bilbao Bilbao was like the most like small city that felt like a big metropolitan city had everything airport university you know major buildings companies there job opportunities art culture accessibility to other countries like everything a girl could could ask for and what so as i'm walking around burj now i'm seeing I'm like yeah like i can see how people could live here i see it i see the appeal i always love when this happens and it's a good like litmus test for me learning the city that i'm in i where i started i was here just last night coming in and the pouring down the lane i don't show any that on camera because i was looking a mess but now i'm back here nice So jokes on me. I was thinking, I'm like, this way not that cold, there's no rain. The child, the, <laughs> the clouds have opened up. It's giving those arc. Day one. <laughs> and just like that, the rain's over. So it's giving me kind of Florida energy from the States, where it'll be a torrential downpour. Wait 15, 20 minutes, then it's gone. Or maybe it's still a little bit. I think it's just the rain blowing the water that's already existing. But interesting. Keep that in mind. I'm heading back to the hostel to regroup, charge my phone, enter some emails, send some stuff off, edit. I'm gonna go post today or like finalize it, put captions or put subtitles and caption like the caption, all that good stuff. And then regroup and I found a big and an ice cream place. I'm gonna just get the waffle, which I'm very, very excited for. But get that. Uh, that looking might be my lunch. <laughs> and then sightsee a bit more, even though I saw everything on my list, which is a beauty of small cities. So everything on my list I've already seen. So I just stay inside for us today. We'll see.
So I got these three items. One, two, three. Guess how much they cost. I'll give you five seconds to guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Sixteen fifty. A shame. It was this right here. This Vaseline. This lotion cost twelve euros and fifty cents. All right, guys. I'm back for my little break. I had to catch up on some. Well, I had to go, but just did some editing. I got today's IG and TikTok content ready to go. And I found this vegan waffle place. And tell me why it's literally in Brussels. I'm so hurt. It's not in Bruges, it's in Brussels. So this, this is what I get. I should this is what I get if I'm not doing my research. <laughs> but it is what it is. So I'm probably just gonna like try to find a fry place maybe, but then I'm reading that the fry batter can have eggs in it too. So uh, it's just not looking like it's meant to be. Or, you know, I'll just have to come back. I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back to Brussels to get my vegan, vegan food on. But yeah, so I'm heading now to just kind of back where I was earlier and then just kind of take different turns and explore some other areas that weren't like too, too high on my list or weren't on my list, period. And head back, get some content of during like happy hour, drinking games, things like that. And then get ready for my nine in the morning train to Amsterdam. Not Amsterdam, huh? To Rotterdam tomorrow morning. Oh, hey, Rotterdam. Hey, Rotterdam. Hey, Rotterdam. I'm here reflecting by the water. Maybe because I'm a cancer. Maybe that's why. I deal with my element and everything. I love being by the water. It really just grounds me and helps me reflect. This is my 12th country. Like, guys, this is my 12th country. I turned 25 in four months. <sighs> Life is just so beautiful and incredible. I went through so much to get here that I've told you guys and everything. Just still, I'm just incredibly grateful. And just, okay, this is my life. Like, look. These are people's houses. That's what I'm getting over. People just live here. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wish I knew the word for beautiful in Dutch. But watching you can do the loop route and it is total of eight kilometers which would be just under six miles so you're like five four and a half five you can do this loop and it's only around the edge of the city so it's a great way and it's paved throughout lovely you'll get some seaside views or yeah the whole way you'll be next to the sea you'll be next to the water lovely check it out or if you're a walker Thanks, good way to see the city and you'll get some exercise.
so excited. Let's see, the first bite on camera. Here we go. Mmm. Ooh. Fresh. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, so good. Three euros. This is gonna tie me up for the night. and toasty in here which is great my legs coming up them steps that last that steps say wiggle 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 that means i got a good walk in today i should look at my pedometer on my phone through the health app i never check i probably should i am racking up kilometers and miles you hear me but yeah, so that was basically my day i'm now gonna just chill um <clears throat> post my today's tiktok on famous hostels if you aren't following us already at europe's plural famous hostels follow us on tiktok and then post again on my personal instagram and yeah and then just get ready for my train tomorrow at first it's supposed to be like crack it on like five but now it's gonna be like nine fifteen nine ten so i can sleep in quote unquote a little bit have breakfast and not be too rushed so very very good and the bus station's right down the street so so yeah that's been my first and only full day in Bruges in Belgium now on to country number 13 ah can't wait hi right, guys time shower hello dinner really is more of a snack and you can see over there oh. I'm gonna start packing and I'm gonna start see the two of you slay Georgina Ooh, <laughs> my voice <laughs> Um, I'm very excited. I watch it in Spanish and then have English subtitles. I highly recommend because dubbing is kind of cringe to the ear. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. And then head to bed and get ready for my train ride tomorrow to the Netherlands. Rotterdam. Damn. Okay, here we go. Bye. It's been a fun few days, but I'm off to the Netherlands, kitchen number 13. Let's go! I'll be back. I went all the way to Rotterdam to be back in America. <laughs> yeah. Crossed Erasmus Bridge as I was fighting for my life against this wind. My goodness gracious, don't wear a wig if you come to Rotterdam. Pro tip. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm sending my love to wherever you are in the world where you're watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.